Sal and Rio and Chevy. Hey everyone, bienvenido and welcome to I Just Watch. Today we're talking Minions, The Rise of Gru, or better known as The Return of the Little Yellow Mexicans, a prequel to the Spicable Me. Before we get into it, I can hit you with the usual. Hope you like this enough to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell to get notified. Let's discuss speaking more Spanish than ever, I might add. Cause I remember watch, I was watching that and I was like, okay, they've committed. This movie is dumb. But damn, I enjoyed it. I, I ended up liking this movie. I don't know, man. It was just... Maybe I, I may, you know, maybe I have a soft spot for my little yellow brother. I feel like it's actually a pretty good movie. I feel it holds its own. This one's up there for me. I kind of like it. I feel like it would be the third in the ranking of everything. I actually really like the the way they got into showing us how Gru becomes the Gru. You know how the minions come to be with Gru, and then like their bond. The story. I actually really like the story. I thought it was it was simple. It was straightforward, in your face, no, no, none of this shenanigans. I was like, look, this is a story of them becoming a Bond grew, becoming the villain we know him to be. And I actually really liked it. I love the fact that we got to see the characters that we see in the Despicable Me movies, where, like, they're initially where they were. You know, Gru meets Dr. Nefario. I can't remember the main guy from the bank. His son is the main bad guy in the first one. He's in it, and he even shows us a picture of his son. Like, and then you see Wild Knuckles. That was Gru's, that is Gru's, like, favorite villain of all time. When you get to his house, it is really similar to Gru's when he's older. Plus the alligator couch he already has. So I just like things like that. You get to see the, the weird monster dog that Gru has as, like, a baby monster dog. So this movie did a really good job for me of setting up and referencing and keeping it connected to Despicable Me. You know, it did a really good job of further growing the world by giving us more villains, by showing us the um, anti-villain league and showing us, you know, these small things that lead to what we know as Gru when he's older. You know, the top tier number one villain in the world turned top tier number one AVL agent of the world. Like, so it was cool the way they did it. I think they did it in a smart way. It wasn't too much of in your face what happened. It was just enough subtle things that if you've seen the movies or you recognize things of it, you would catch it. Part of this though was the the growth, the family growth and development of the minions and Gru. You know, <laughs> the minions calling him mini boss. I really love the the dynamic because you see how Gru is trying to work alone, but then he finds out he needs them and they become like a legit family. I like seeing how smart these dumb little yellow bastards are. <laughs> The scene when like they're outside the window and they give them the puppy dog eyes and it's raining. And then when you, you pan out, you see that one of them is holding a hose with a thumb to make it look like it's raining. I was like, these little smart genius yellow twinkies. Overall, good movie. I enjoyed it. My biggest gripe was the final fight. Most of it was in the trailers. So that kind of made it, yeah. Like, I was like, oh, okay, trailer, trailer, trailer. Oh, shit, like the whole thing. Oh, it's over? Like, it was quick. Nothing really... It was like, oh, this is going to be crazy, and then it ends. And then everything really you saw in the trailer. So it wasn't anything new, it wasn't anything crazy. And the it, the resolution of it was super simple and easy. So hoping for a little bit more of a, of a final showdown, of a final situation. But overall, I really enjoyed this movie. It's stupid. It's dumb. I shouldn't have loved it as much as I do. But I enjoyed it. I'd watch it again. It was it was a cute movie. If you like this pickle with me... And that universe that they semi-built, you'll enjoy this movie. Go there, have a good time. I want to hear your thoughts. Have you seen it? Are you going to see it? I actually, I'd say see it. I like the movie. But uh, I want to hear your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns down below. But until next time, stay safe, be well. Adios.